What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything I Device, and welcome to another Top 10 Best Applications video. I haven't done one of these for a while. I think this will be a new series that I'm going to do, I think, on a weekly basis, maybe even more often than that. Definitely let me know down in the comments whether you'd like me to do that or not. So, uh, as you can see, this is not just games, this is mainly just regular applications. I do have one game included, I'll get to that in a minute, but I do like doing the regular application kind of Top 10 videos because not very many people do them. And I think there's just tons of really nice applications that, you know, uh, should be on video and should be in top 10 lists because there are so many apps. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So first off, we do have an app called Spread. Now, I mainly use this to find different types of photos to uh, post on my Facebook, my Twitter, and also to use on Instagram. I think this is a really cool application for this. You do have kind of your own wall style where you can actually, uh, you know post uh, pictures you find on your own wall and also you know uh, post your own pictures from your camera roll I don't really use that like I said I just use this to find different photos that I like to use on my other social networks so I mainly use this for discovery and there is a ton of different photos to find if I can keep this in fo uh, focus here uh, so I like to use quotes a lot I really like the quote section I use this for my Facebook kind of on a normal basis um, so here's a Steve Jobs one <laughs> Why join the Navy if you can be a pirate? That's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I, this is just a really, really cool way to discover uh, tons and tons of different photos. Uh, as you can see, I'm in quotes. You have travel, home and living, style for her, style for him. You have, uh, what's this? Style, streetwear, celebs, music, movies, and books, fitness and health, hair and beauty, wedding, food and recipes, motoring is a cool section. You got the four kids section. You got craft, pets, humor, and vintage and quirky so like I said I just use this to find really cool photos and it's definitely an awesome application to do that as it allows you to basically just download the photo directly to your camera roll so that's spread in a nutshell next is another one of my favorite applications it's called pick play post this is a free application and I love it so what you can do with this is on Instagram a little bit earlier as I created a collage of photos and it had music playing in the background uh, you can use this app application to do that. So let's go ahead and select on here. This is the actual um, photo I did for Instagram, and I did have music playing in the background. Let me go ahead and render it so you guys can get a preview. And that's all I'm going to play on that before I get in trouble for copyright. But anyways, uh, yeah, you can just select your different photos for the collage, and then you can have music playing over it, and you can post it directly to Instagram. Now, another thing that's really cool about this application, and I'm not going to do it on video because it's kind of time-consuming, is you can have individual videos playing in each one of these different uh, slots. And you can even time them out so this one plays, then that one plays, and then that one plays. And if you want to, you can even put music over that so it doesn't use the actual video audio. Uh, there's a lot to this app. It's really, really cool, and I, I love that it's free. That's that's a huge bonus, and I'm not sure why it's not letting me. Let's exit out of that and then go to frames. So as you can see, there's a ton of different frames. You could have a whole bunch of different movies playing at once. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this application. It's really cool. Again, it's called Pick, Play, Post. Next, we have Moves. Now, I just got this uh, earlier this morning, right when I woke up. Um, I decided to try it out for a day, and I actually liked the way it ended up being. Uh, it basically tracks your motion throughout the day. It tracks your walking, your running, your jogging, your biking, uh, where you go. It'll actually save it in a map form so you can see everywhere you've been. Um, so I've taken 949 steps today. I really haven't done much all day, so I'm kind of disappointed. And then I was hoping to get like 2,000 or something. I've walked almost a half a mile today. Not too good. Um, I've walked for 13 minutes total today. And I've burned uh, an incredible huge amount of 36 calories throughout today. But uh, this is just a really cool app, like I said, to you know see where you travel throughout today, how many steps you've taken, how far you've ran. Um, it uses the M7 motion processor within the 5S. It takes advantage of that. And you can even view it on the map. I'm not going to open that up for you guys that might be searching for me, but... Uh, I don't want anybody knowing where I live, so I'm not opening up the maps. But if you've used this for multiple days, as you can see here, you can view each day. Uh, I just think it's a really cool, well-put-together, simple app, and I do like the way it looks. So that's Moves, and it's basically just kind of a fitness app, and I really like the way it's put out. So next we have Pro Cam. Now, 
this absolutely blows the stock iOS camera app out of the water. Excuse the mess down on the floor there. Yes, I know I have to clean. So with this application, you have just a ton of different options and settings that you can use with your camera. This is more for of the advanced user, uh, in my opinion. If you guys are very, very familiar with a digital camera and know all of the settings of that, uh, this will probably you know be pretty easy for you to use. You have face detection, you have burst mode, you have timed out video, you have uh, sound snaps, you have slow-mo. I really like that. I love that this app takes advantage of the slow-mo option. Um, you also have nighttime mode, you have uh, time lapse, regular video, regular photos, and so on and so forth. Now, you also do have a bazillion settings. So let's go to the photo section here. I'm not going to mention all of these because there's just so many settings, it's ridiculous. And I really do mean that. There's so much different stuff you can do with this uh, with this camera, and I really, really like it. So that's the photo. Here's the video. As you can see, there's just a ton of different things you can do. You got your info section, and then also if we go to the menu here, you have your different grids. You can also do white balance adjustments. You can adjust the white balance manually. You can adjust the contrast. You can adjust uh, the brightness. You can adjust the, the focus where you want it to lock onto. You can adjust where you want the exposure to lock onto. It's just a really well put together camera application. And like I said, this is probably more for the advanced user on uh, the camera just to be able to know what those settings do. So that is Pro Cam. Next, we got Sky Guide. Now, I actually use this a lot this summer. I haven't used it much lately because it's been a little chilly out and I haven't been outside as much. But uh, I like to using this when I've had fires at night in my backyard. I do have a fire pit back there. And this is one thing I really like to pull out and uh, just check. Oh, I bet you if I went outside right now, I could see Jupiter. I actually use this app to find Jupiter at night because you can actually see it in the sky. It's really quite cool. You can also use this app to find uh, satellites in the sky. And for those of you that didn't know, you can actually see satellites. You can see them physically moving in the sky and I use this app to hunt those down uh, this this app is just packed full of tons and tons of information and it's really fun to just kind of sit outside and just you know check out the sky and learn a little something about you know the different stars and all the different planets and stuff and even being able to see Jupiter and stuff I think it's really cool you can use this as like a motion tracker as you can see there which is not exactly the easiest thing to do on video but you can actually physically use this to look around or you can just manually move it like I am right now. So whatever your preference is, it's just a really cool way to view the sky and find out information about all the different planets and stars. So next is Blur. Now I've had so many people ask me, where did you get that wallpaper? Like this one. I'm sure some of you are going to ask me, where did I get it? Well, I actually made it with Blur. Now Blur, Blur is a paid application, unfortunately. But it's so simple and it's really, really nice for wallpapers. I think this is probably one of the coolest apps for wallpapers. So first off, as you can see, it automatically generated a wallpaper. I can adjust the brightness. I can turn it all the way down to see what the actual photo looks like. Or you can turn it all the way up, which just makes it uber, uber blurry. I tend to like to keep them uh, about right there. I think that's a nice look. Now, if you click on the blur button, it'll bring up a different photo. That's actually really quite cool. I'm going to save that one. I actually do like that. So I save that to my uh, camera roll just like that. So you click blur again and it brings up another photo and you can sit here and you can do this all day with random generated photos. You can even click the little photo button there and you can go into your camera roll and use one of your own photos and uh, add your own blur effect to that as well. That's all you do with this app and I think it's awesome for iOS 7. That's how I made this wallpaper. And uh, for those of you that might want this wallpaper, I guess I'll probably supply a link down in the description if you guys would like to download it. Uh, next is the Call of Duty Ghost application. Now, I know this isn't going to you know, appeal to most of you unless you play Call of Duty Ghosts. But for those of you that do play, I would recommend getting this application. I think it's a really awesome, well put, to app, well put together application, if I can get my words correct. Um, I just like it. You can view all your friends online. You can see what they're doing. You can get, uh, if you're in a clan on Call of Duty Ghosts, you can get clan invites. It'll send you a push notification if your clan is looking for a player to join them. So it's really cool. You can get your buddies to, you know, just send you a message saying, uh, we're about to get some clan battles going and you'll get a push notification for it. I think that's pretty awesome. Also, uh, there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do in here, but I did want to show you create the soldier section here where you can actually change your loadouts, which I think is awesome. So you can physically change your loadouts from this app and it will take effect in the game when you go back on it. So here you can see I have my first loadout and actually I can actually change my camo of my gun from in this app. I think this is just really cool. 
You can change, you know, your attachments for your gun. You can change your gun. You can change your secondary. You can change your, your perks. You can change your strike package. I think it's just a really cool application. And again, that is Call of Duty Ghosts. Next is my go-to weather application, which in my opinion is way better than the stock weather application on iOS. And I'll show you why. First off, you do have radar. You can play the radar, so it'll show you the live motion of the storms so you can see which way they're heading. Um, if you swipe down here, you can get a short summary by swiping. Let's see if we can't do this. It's a little hard to swipe. you got to be kind of tedious with it. So first off, uh, you have a quick summary of today. Uh, no rain, partly cloudy, 38 high, 38 low, I guess. Uh, if you swipe down, you can see, you can even minimize that if we can do it ever so slightly. There you go. You can see your six-day forecast. It shows you the highs, the lows, and the chances of rain. Looks like it's going to be storming all weekend. That's awesome. Not. Um, you swipe down again. You can see the, temp the temperature change throughout the day. Pretty drastic around here. It's really quite nipply out right now. 38 degrees. Burr. Uh, actually, it's 39 currently, So, and it is clear. So this is just, I think, you know, a very simple and very nice weather application. There's no advertisements. I believe it's paid. Don't quote me on that. I'll leave all the iTunes links down in the description. But I just really like this weather application. I think it's probably one of the best. And that's called Weather. I'll leave the full name down in the description because there's so many damn weather applications. Now, the next application I got for you guys is the only game I have on this list. And... I wanted to have this game on here because I think it's definitely worthy of having. It's probably one of the coolest games of the entire year to be released to the App Store, in my opinion. It's Oceanhorn. It's basically Zelda for iOS, and the graphics are really quite beautiful. The controls are incredibly simple, and it's just a really fun game to play. I'm not going to do too much gameplay in this video because I do have a full like 15-minute gameplay on my channel, so if you guys want to check that out, um, I'll probably put the link down in the description if you guys want to see more about this. Uh, but this game is extremely fun. It's just like Zelda. As you can see, you have your shield just like Zelda. You got your sword. Um, there's a lot of stuff to unlock with this game. You have your hearts in the upper, upper left-hand corner. You have your, your map here. You have all of your inventory stuff, um, settings and whatnot. It's just a really well-put-together game. And it, like I said, it's just like Zelda. Zelda for iOS. Definitely an awesome game. If you guys want to see a longer gameplay of that, I'll leave a link down in the description. Now, the last app I got for you guys is for Twitter, and that is TweetBot. Uh, this is hands down, my, in my opinion, the best Twitter application you can get, uh, especially for being for iOS 7. I think it just goes with iOS 7 perfectly, and I, I think the functionality of this Twitter app is a little bit more streamlined than the Twitter app itself. Uh, first off here, you have your, your timeline, your feed, basically. You have your mentions here. You have your direct messages, and then you have... Your profile and search. Now, the cool thing about your profile and search is you can customize it by holding it to be whatever you want. Uh, you can have it be retweets. You can have it be favorites. Um, there's just a ton of different settings here. Uh, and I'm not going to really go through much of this. It's just a really well put together Twitter application. As you can see, you can actually select the tweet there. You can view the uh, conversation, if there is any, none there, or the details. Uh, you can reply to it by swiping to the right. So simple reply just like so. So you don't even have to click on anything. You basically just swipe it and then reply. And swipe to see the conversation. Opening up a photo is really nice. I love the animation of closing a photo. Just kind of toss it away. And in my opinion, this is the best Twitter application for iOS. Again, that is TweetBot. And that's going to be it for this list, guys. These are all of the 10 best applications I think are definitely worthy of being on your device. Now, uh, a good portion of these apps are actually paid. And if you guys want to be able to get them for free, I'll leave a link down in the description. Also, I'll leave all of the iTunes links uh, for these apps, so they're all just one click away for you guys. Also, I'll leave the gameplay for Oceanhorn if you guys want to see more of that. And also, if you guys have not entered into my iPad Air giveaway, the link will be for that in the description as well. So if you guys did enjoy this top 10 best applications video, definitely throw me that thumbs up. That'll help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.